From Lagos, the nation's commercial capital, this is the News at 10, live from Channels Television. Reporting tonight. Suleiman Alebe, hello and welcome tonight. The presidency insists that the acting president, Dr. Goodluck Jonathan, has not met with President Yaradwa. As Information Minister Professor Dora Akinri says, a cabal is worsening the political tension in the country. The acting president constitutes Presidential Advisory Council, reconstitutes the Presidential Monetary Committee, the Niger Delta Development Commission. Dr. Goodluck Jonathan also sets up a Federal Projects Assessment Committee. The High Court sitting in Sokoto State, Niger's northwest region, orders the arrest of former governor Atahir Bafarawa as the ESCC declares him wanted. And the Chilean military tries to restore order after the country's devastating earthquake arresting dozens and shooting one man dead. On business news tonight, the federal government says 6.1% GDP growth rate and 11.2% inflation rate target this year still on track. And in sports news tonight, more Super Eagles players hit Abuja camp ahead of Wednesday's international friendly against Congo Democratic Republic. Just as 29-man delegation of the Congolese national team arrives Nigeria tomorrow. About 48 hours before the Federal Executive Council meeting and five days after the President returned from Saudi Arabia, the Presidency insists that the acting President Dr. Goodluck Jonathan has not met with or even seen President Erdogan. This clarification is coming on the day that the Information Minister, Dora Kunili, continues to berate some people she says are worsening the political crisis in the country. Barely 24 hours after Professor Akunyemi criticized the cabal supposedly withholding information from Nigerians, the information minister says what has transpired since the president's return amounts to a slap in the face of the acting president as well as Nigerians as a whole. There are people around the president that are not telling us the truth. And it has happened for over 90 days. And most Nigerians are worried. There is confusion, there is anxiety, there is tension in the system. We should not shy away from that. That is the truth. The tension got so heightened that at the point, the National Assembly and the Governor's Forum saved us from even getting into deeper crisis by making the Vice President acting President. Then suddenly, these people arranged without informing the acting president and brought in the president in the dead of the night. And that caused even more tension in the system. And thereafter went on to do a few things that get people totally disorganized and wondering what is going on. Now I believe that things are normalizing, but a few things still need to happen. We are praying that our president either comes out to talk to us, to completely douse the tension, or if he's not in a position to do so, because it's not a crime for anybody to be sick for people arouse, around him to come out and tell us his true state of health, or at least allow the acting president to see him and talk with him. You see, these things are very important because the acting president would now be able to talk to us as ministers and tell us what he discussed with him. Because if we don't get the truth, we will continue to dwell on rumors. And these rumors are creating more problems for us because the stories that are coming up are really very discomforting and I wouldn't want to repeat some of them. And why are they coming up? Because 
we don't have information. I am Minister of Information of Nigeria, but I don't have information. So when people say certain things, I'm not even able to say, no, this is not correct. How can I say this is not correct when I don't know the truth? Well, it's not just a slight on the acting president. It's also a slap on the faces of almost 150 million Nigerians. In fact, what they say to all of us is, all of you go to hell. And it is very sad. But be that as it may, I think we should try and get over that. What is important is that uh, our president is back. We should pray for his recovery. We should also uh, pray for the acting president to uh, effectively uh, manage uh, the ship of the nation. And uh, on the other hand, to pray that God gives us the solution to the impending a political crisis in the country because there is political crisis we shouldn't pretend about it because we are not yet out of the woods because as soon as we hear from our president or the people around him are able to come out and tell us his true health status then things will gradually normalize even if they have lied for too long there is nothing wrong with coming out today to say the truth I don't think we can dwell on lies for life. If you miss your road, you don't have to continue because you've missed your road. You should turn back and get the right road. That is what I feel about what has been happening. Nobody should be too proud to accept a mistake. If you make a mistake, accept it and make a turn around to do the right thing. That's what I believe as a person now. I'm not talking now as Minister of Information, as a person. If you know you have done anything wrong or deceived us in one way or the other, it's still early in the day to come out and say, want well, some people or persons to come out and say, uh, we are sorry about what has happened in the last 90-something days. This was the situation and this is the situation. And uh, everything will normalize with time. But uh, uh, up till uh, up till today, it has not happened. And I'm praying and believing that it will happen because uh, it's important for us to get back on track because it's, a lot still needs to be done. Nigeria's Information Minister, the Professor Dora Queen, on the State of the Nation. The Mega Summit movement has described the ruling People's Democratic Party as a failed political party. The group, in a statement signed by its director of publicity, Alahaji Hamisu Santuraki, says the current presidential lockdown created by distrust in the presidency has finally exposed the PDP as a very unreliable and weak party. The group goes on to say the PDP, like some other parties in the current democracy, is not a real political party where party supremacy, discipline and internal democracy reigns. In the same vein, the group concerned professionals have challenged members of the Executive Council of the Federation to exercise its authority as spelled out in the Constitution by ordering an assessment of the health of the President and his ability to govern. Concerned professionals says members of the Executive Council of the Federation who are mostly professionals should stand up individually and do the right thing and not hide under the mirage of collective responsibility or misplaced loyalty. Well, it's been close to a week now since alien President Erdogan arrived in Nigeria from medical treatment in Saudi Arabia but is yet to be seen in public. Speaking to Channel Television on the issue today in Lagos, Senate Deputy Minority Leader Senator Oloru Nimbe Mamora said the present situation cannot be allowed to drag on for long and that the National Assembly may have to intervene again in the developing situation. We cannot tell you what we don't know. And what I know is that officially, as it is now, the Senate is unaware that Mr. President is back in the country because there is no communication whatsoever you know, in any form as to that effect. Not even from his late 
we don't have any communication to the best of my knowledge. What about the people that went, uh, what about the ministers that went to Saudi Arabia and came this, this they did not see. They did not see him. Yes. They did not see Mr. President. So, there is no, there is no communication to us to that effect and uh, to say that, yes, Mr. President is back officially, beyond what we just speak in the air, we just want to speak in the news. So, but then, one thing I know is that uh, the acting president cannot continue to act till kingdom come. Therefore, I suspect that somehow, somewhere along the line, uh, the, the, the Senate or the National Assembly will still have to do something. What that thing is, I may not be in position to tell you right now, until the issue is brought up and uh, of course, opinions are sampled, uh, perspectives are brought in, and then we all reason together and do what we think is best in the interest of the town.